Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Imagination Mega Park. Now, um, in the last episode, I worked on uh, this area, the Sprocket City, and in this episode, uh, I want to continue working on this area. And specifically, uh, I wanted to make a station for the air balloon ride. And it will be the last station for this ride, as all the other uh, areas already have a station. Yeah, I think uh, it will be a nice accomplishment uh, for this lap around the park that uh, all these uh, areas will now have a station for the for this ride. Now, um, the plan that I have for this area is to actually have sort of a, a surface station for these uh, air balloons. So I will make a tower which has some kind of uh, cranes with some grabbing arms that will be able to grab stuff from below. And here at the bottom, uh, I want to have some uh, storage areas and some uh, maintenance areas where we'll see some uh, entertainers possibly uh, working on some of these uh, vehicles. Okay, that's the plan for now. Um, and let's see uh, if I can uh, bring this plan to uh, fruition. Anyway, the first thing um, I'm going to do is um, uh, yeah, redo this path to make it all a little bit more compact. And then I will start building the tower for this uh, for this um, air balloon station. I think that will be a good thing to uh, start with. Now I say I want to start building, but first off, um, let's do something even more important, and that's naming some more handyman after commenters. If you also want to be uh, featured in this park as a handyman, just leave some fun or interesting comments, and uh, you may be included in the park as a handyman. Alright, um, I've renamed three handymen uh, to people who commented on one of my last videos. So uh, thanks for the comments and uh, yeah, just uh, keep them coming. Alright, um, I will now start work on this tower. Okay, the tower is now completed. Of course, the tower is not the only part of this uh, construction. Uh, I also want to have some warehouses below here, a repair shop, uh, etc. for these uh, uh, air balloon uh, vehicles. And of course, uh, we also need a way um, for the, yeah, for these uh, things here on the ground to actually get up here. So that's why I want to make uh, uh, several, yeah, sort of cranes. So it will more be like um, uh, some trusses with some grabbing uh, the rope and a grabbing arm below. And uh, yeah, I'll try to make it uh, look nice in here. Now maybe you could see I uh, already played a bit with some structures for the for the crane. But uh, yeah, first I plan to have them on the roof. But instead I just built an actual roof. And I'll build the crane somewhere on these uh, platforms here. I think I have enough space uh, here to make something that uh, actually looks nice. So yeah, let's uh, let's try and uh, figure something out.
Okay, I've now uh, built up the building next to the tower. Now, as you can see, it's quite a big building. Um, with a big open area here as well. And over here, I stored lots of uh, vehicles for the uh, air balloon ride and also several air balloons. So you can see uh, several of them uh, just uh, stored away uh, inside and here on top. And on the lower level, you can see some of these... Um, um, yeah, these carriages that uh, that sit below the air balloons. Uh, part of it is actually obscured by this building, so probably <laughs> I did a bit too much work anyway, because quite a lot of it will never be seen. But uh, yeah, I do think the part that will be seen uh, looks pretty nice. Now, I'll made a little crane over here. So here you can see a structure on top, also with a little cogwheel, and some of these uh, this is an object from the space set, but the recolorable version. And here is a little crane boom, and here you can see a, a cable attached to a grabbing thingy, and actually is grabbing one of these uh, uh, vehicles for the air balloon ride. I think that was that's a pretty cool scene. Uh, over here you can also see some sort of scissor lift, uh, so with a big platform here on top, also some barrels, and um, I think you'll just have to imagine that uh, uh, they just carried this. Uh, um, carriage of this uh, platform. Now over here on top uh, I also just parked some more vehicles um, so yeah ready to uh, be taken uh, into service uh, at some point I guess. Right um, with this done uh, I will now uh, just uh, work on the surroundings a bit more. Uh, I think uh, this area right here next to the tower could use some uh, attention. <laughs> Right, uh, just made a little fenced off area around this tower. I kept the decorations quite simple, just a little bit of foliage and just some junk behind it that uh, they tried to hide away. Also put some more of these uh, buildings uh, in front. Uh, yeah, I, it's probably kind of like uh, in the Middle Ages where uh, people would just uh, build wherever there was space. So um, they would just build these houses in front of this uh, building here. I think they uh, fit here quite nicely. Now, also on the back, did a little bit of work here. Just uh, mostly just stowed away some stuff that you can find in other areas or in other uh, places in this area as well. Mostly just some barrels, a uh, big platform here. Also some of these uh, grabbing things for the crane. So some of these uh, carts. Also a little bit, try to make it a little bit overgrown by uh, putting some of these bull rushes here to uh, make it look like there's some grass. And now that I think of it, uh, I can probably also place uh, one or two of these. So uh, let's see, um, let's go for snowball. So then we get the Japanese snowball tree and that's always a good tree uh, to make things look a little bit overgrown. I think this is uh, perfect. Now I've decided not to uh, really build anything here. I think this will be a perfect uh, place to make another coaster. I haven't decided what kind of coaster yet, but that'll be something for a future episode. I also made a little path here uh, leading um, to this uh, set of doors here on the back. Also not really sure what I'm going to do with this, but uh, again, there'll be something for uh, uh, to do something with uh, in, the, in the future. Now, I think we still have time uh, in this episode to build something. So I think uh, we can build another shoestring right over here. And I have something uh, really fun in mind.
Okay, I've built a new shoestring right here. Now, this is just something that uh, that I just came up with. So basically just uh, a set of these uh, swinging vehicles for the suspended uh, swinging coaster, just uh, traveling around uh, on this uh, circular track uh, while uh, swinging from the left to the right. <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, if this was a real ride, it would get uh, guests uh, pretty nauseous uh, seeing these cars uh, swing uh, from left to right like this. But yeah, I uh, really like how these uh, decorations turned out. Um, I think it, uh, it just looks really, uh, yeah, really nice. I'm really uh, satisfied with uh, how it uh, turned out. Now, um, I had an issue with the supports for this track as they became invisible. I tried a bit with the normal supports that, that I could uh, give this track, but they would be on the outside and they would glitch a lot. So I just made some uh, custom supports of my own. So just some simple poles. Uh, and with some uh, connecting beams here on the top. And uh, together, I think they uh, make for some really uh, convincing supports, which also look uh, pretty nice. So yeah, super happy with how this ride turned out. I think it's a great addition to this uh, area. So I gave it a name, uh, Discombobulator. <laughs> yeah, just tried to uh, give it a sort of a mechanical name uh, without... Uh, yeah, without it really making uh, sense. Now um, I've also added two more entertainers to this area. Uh, so here we have a guy manning the crane and here we have uh, a guy on the little platform here uh, delivering goods to this uh, crane. So uh, yeah, let's uh, name these entertainers after two more of my patrons. All right, Zach Combs and Cass with five S's. Uh, thank you so much for the support on Patreon, it really means a lot to me and it definitely keeps me motivated to keep making these videos. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot for the support and if you also want to uh, support me on Patreon, you can find a link to my Patreon channel in the video description. And of course, all patrons will be included in the park as an entertainer. So later, when the when the park releases, you can uh, go and try to find yourself in the park. Okay, um, yeah, that's going to be it uh, for this video. I'm really happy with how this uh, last tower for the air balloon ride has turned out. Now, uh, <laughs> I, I often uh, do a thing at the end of my videos where we follow a ride uh, along the entire track. But for the air balloon ride, uh, I think it would just take too long. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, we cannot see all the times here, but uh, I'm estimating it will take around 10 minutes to do an entire lap of the park. So that could maybe be a video uh, on its own. Although uh, in its current state, um, you would still see a lot of unfinished stuff. So uh, for sure, uh, we will later do a video with a tour of the air balloon ride uh, when the park is more finished. I think that will uh, make for a really cool uh, tour through the park. Now, I'm also really happy with this shoestring ride that I built over here. Um, I already uh, just said it, uh, but I think it looks super cool. And also this scene over here. Uh, I think it's also really fun watching all these uh, air balloons here. And also all these uh, carriages for the air balloon ride. And just uh, this, well, what looks like a warehouse. Uh, shape of the building, pretty simple on the outside. Uh, but uh, this area will be filled later. I think this is the perfect area to have another roller coaster. But that's something that I'll figure out uh, later. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching me build. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel. And I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. <laughs>